Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use 7-Zip on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what is 7-Zip? 7-Zip is a free and open source file archiver, which means it will allow you to compress or uncompress your files or folders in different uh, compression formats, right? So let's see how we can download and install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for 7-Zip. And the first link which will appear here will be from 7-Zip.org. So I'm going to just click on this link. And straight away, you will see the downloads option. Now, if you are using Windows 11, you need the 64-bit version of Windows 11. So we are going to just click on the first link here, which says 64-bit. So I'm going to just click on the download option which is going to start the download of this exe file. So once it's downloaded, just click on the exe file and I'm going to minimize the browser. First of all, you will see this warning. So just click on yes. And then the setup window will start for 7-zip. So this will be the default location where 7-zip will be installed. So if you are okay with it, just uh, leave it as default and then click on install and 7-zip will be installed really fast, right? So you just need to wait for a few seconds and you can see this message 7-zip is installed. Once you see this message, you can close this window. So now once 7-zip is installed, you can use 7-zip to compress or uncompress files or folders on your Windows 11 operating system. So let me show you how you can use it. So you can see I have this folder and inside this folder I have one uh, file but you can have any number of files in your folders and then let's say I want to compress this file into a zip file right so I can just right click on the file and in the new Windows 11 operating system you will not see 7 zip option directly you just need to click on show more options. And then you will see this 7-zip option here, right? So in order to archive this file into zip, you can just click on this option, add to data.zip. Data is the name of my folder. That's why it's named data and the extension will be zip. If you want to um, compress this file into different format, which is 7z format, you can choose this option. But for now, I will create a zip file. So I will just click on add to data.zip and it's going to create a zip file. You can see data.zip file is created here, right? Now let me delete this folder and I will show you how you can uncompress this zip file using 7-zip. So the procedure is straightforward. Right click on the zip file and then click on show more options and then select 7-zip and then there are many options here, right? So for extracting this uh, zip file into the same folder, you just need to click on extract here. So I, when I click on extract here, the folder will be extracted in the same folder in which your zip file is present. Let me delete it once again. And now let me show you if you want to extract it somewhere else, how you can do it. So right click once again, show more options, 7-zip and then click on extract files. And this time it's going to open this kind of window. So from here you can uh, choose the location. You can just click on these three dots button. And then let's say I want to just extract this uh, folder on my desktop. So I can do that, select this and then I can click on OK. And you can see the path is changed to desktop. Let me minimize this window so you can see the extraction here. When I click on OK, then this data folder is extracted in my desktop, right? So this is how you can extract uh, the zip file or any other uh, compressed file in different folders, right? You also have uh, different options using 7-zip, you can see so you can uh, play with all these options and uh, see what all these options uh, do. And the description is straightforward. So open archive, open archive once again, 
you can see different options so you can use all these options with your zip file or your normal folders right so this is how you can download and install 7-zip on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video